Hey everybody, this is the second lecture this week, but it is a short one. There is a paired Excel example to go along with it. So uh, today we're going to talk about the internal rate of return, which is a, another method for evaluating single projects. Finding the internal rate of return is going to answer the question, what does the discount rate need to be for this project to be profitable or for us to move forward with this project. So you are solving for the discount rate at which the project is valued at zero, which is when the expenses are equal to the revenue. So present worth of the project equals zero. That means the sum of the total revenue, which is over here, and the sum of the total expenses are equal. The method for solving this is going to be testing a bunch of different discount rates and finding the point at which the net present value changes from positive to negative. So what you can do is make a function and plot the net present value for each discount rate and figure out where the net present value is roughly equal to zero, so which is where the Net present value crosses the discount rate line that's called the IRR. So the project will be economically justified if the discount rate ends up being less than the internal rate of return, while it will not be economically justified if the discount rate is higher than the internal rate of return. If this seems confusing to you, just remember if the discount rate is lower, you have more incentive to spend the money now because you won't be missing out on the opportunity to earn the interest, right? The uh, best ways to solve this is by using a spreadsheet and linear interpolation. So you can estimate the IRR very easily. Actually calculating it can be more difficult. Some software will do this automatically, including Excel, which we will be shown during the Excel example. So please make sure to watch the spreadsheet example to see how to carry out this method in Excel. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to watch the other lecture this week on project evaluation using the net present value method.